Hi guys, I'm refilming my intro because I forgot to tell you guys in my video that if you use the same program that I did to go to school in Japan, you will actually get 10% off with my code TORI10. This will give you 10% off your tuition and save you literally hundreds of dollars. So please make sure to use that to your advantage and enjoy the video. Hello. Hi. How are y'all doing? Oh shoot. Are you guys like ever dead asleep all day and then it's like 3 a.m. and you're like, yeah, I'm ready to be productive. That's where I am. So since my last Japan video, you guys have still asked me so many questions. You guys asked me if we could do a Q&A, so let's do it. Got my coffee at 3 a.m. I've got Fat Flynn and we're ready. Okay, our first question is from Jasmine06. Did you wear a uniform? No, we didn't. Keep in mind that the school that I went to is an international language school, so I didn't go to a high school or a college or anything like that. I went strictly to a school that was for teaching you Japanese as a second language. So nothing was like super formal like that. Here's an idea of some clothes that I recommend bringing to Japan. You wanna keep your clothes lightweight and breezy. That way you can move around while you're sightseeing after your classes. And Jasmine also asked, did you purchase your school bag in Japan? No, I didn't, but I got really lucky. The bag that I happened to bring was the bag that everybody used in Japan. It was like the popular thing. So the bag that I brought to Japan that everybody was wearing was one of these long shot bags. And let me tell you guys, do not bring a book bag to Japan. Like the backpacks that go on your back, do not bring it. If you wanna know why, I've explained it on my TikTok page. I'll have the video linked down in the description. So yeah, bring a shoulder bag like this, do not bring a backpack. Next is Logan, he asked, did it take a while to get used to the new area? Oh my God, definitely. So I'm from Savannah, Georgia. We are located in the Southeast coast of the US. We are a smaller town. Everything's really slow paced. We drive everywhere. And having to live and go to school in Tokyo was really stressful to begin with. Like everything is so fast paced and there's so many people. It can be very stressful and you can experience some culture shock, but it takes a month to form a habit and get used to new things, which is why I always tell people to stay in Japan for at least a little over a month and then you'll be okay. Um, David Nara 17 said, is it easy? Yeah, they make it pretty easy for you because they know that you're gonna wanna be traveling around Japan and doing all your sightseeing and shopping and everything. They know that you're not gonna wanna spend a whole ton of time studying, doing homework and everything. So they make it pretty easy for you, but at the same time, you still learn a ton. Like I advanced two whole levels in my Japanese during my time there. Still Maru asked, what if you don't speak English? Mm, okay, the program that I did, you have to speak English for it. So my program was an international school. So there are kids there from all over the world. For the majority of the students there, English isn't their first language. But we all needed one common language to like learn and study and speak to each other in and take our tests in and have classes in, you know. And English is so commonly known throughout the world that they chose English to be the universal language in our program. Okay. I should be able to say this. Hiro mm. Sound Gaming asks, are there any interesting hobbies you picked up while you were there? Yeah, I picked up ping pong because we played a whole ton of ping pong in our school. Also, I think I formed a shopping addiction. Mm, is that it? Oh, these aren't really hobbies, but they're more like habits. I got really used to doing the like head nod. I promise you, I don't care who you are, you will come back doing this like head nod. You'll do this nod when you're saying thank you or like, Mm -mm. when you're talking to somebody and you're like agreeing with them or even when you're like I don't I don't know you're just like always nodding even in class you can say sensei ano kore wo nan desu ka ano Edgar Cruz asked can you go and learn Japanese for fun or do you need a reason to learn no, that's literally what I did. I partially did it for my English as a second language job, but honestly, I just kind of went just for fun. You can do what you want. Um, oh my God, I can't read you guys' names. PK Thunder 10 said, can you go on a trip to Japan with me when it opens up and help me survive there? Yeah, let's go. Honestly, I think that I'm able to take like a group of people like students or even maybe my followers. I think that I'm able to like take you guys and organize a trip. So. You know, don't tempt me. Eric asked me if I'm single or taken. What is this, Eric? I'm single. Eric, let's go on a date. 
But we can only go to Red Lobster, okay? You take me to- I dropped my paper. Can we go to Red Lobster for Valentine's Day? <laughs> <clears throat> Lamb's Bread said more Japan fail stories, please. If you guys don't know and you don't follow me on TikTok, I do a ton of embarrassing fail stories about my time in Japan. Oh my God, the zipper stuck. Like really stuck. My voluptuous booty strikes again. And the saleswoman literally had to cut me out of the skirt. And yeah, I still have it to this day. So of course I chose the hand that had the coffee in it. So I spilled the coffee and totally face planted in the middle of Shibuya Crossing. And yeah, I just looked like this. Yes, I'll do more fail stories soon. Trumpet Boy Roy said, do you have to be fluent Japanese to attend school out there? I'm traveling there in 2022. Oh my God, congratulations. No, you don't have to be fluent because the whole point of the program is that they teach you Japanese. FCB Shun 99 said, what is the most different thing between Japan and the US? I don't know, everything's different. The most different thing? Maybe just people's mindsets. People think so differently in Japan and in ways it's better and in other ways it's worse. I'm so sorry if I pronounce you guys' names wrong. Ave0VE asked, is it hard to communicate with people? Love you. Love you too. With the international students, it wasn't hard. Because the international students have to have a level of English proficiency to go to school there, oh, so you're able to communicate with all the students. As for the Japanese students, we would have something that was called a language cafe, where Japanese high school and university students would come over to the school and we would have like snacks and beverages. And we would just talk and hang out with each other. And those students already knew English as well. I can't read you guys' names. I'm so sorry, I'm illiterate. I can't read English actually. Imami Ethan asked, what is the best age to go? Mm, I think 18 would be a good age to go. There were students who were there who were like 16 years old and like those kids were like mature. Like having to travel on their own and depend on themselves, they were the most mature kids. I hung out with my 16 group, 16 year old group. I was 24. It was a little weird, but we, we hung out. I hung out with everybody. Don't think I'm weird. John Ray said the differences of attending school in Japan versus US. Well, it's different because it's an international school, but in the schools in Japan, you're just like expected to act right. The teachers don't have to deal with kids who are like screaming, cussing you out. You just don't have to deal with that. So they hold you to a different standard and everybody's just like really respectful of each other. The teachers are so kind and caring. Student-teacher relationship is really sweet and appreciative of one another and it's just really cute and I really love my teachers. They were adorable. So this is going to lead into another one of the questions that I have and that is Sara Ruzio 27 asked how different are Japanese teachers? They are so cute. They are some of the best teachers I have ever come across. They are so sweet, so caring and they really take pride in what they do. Really go the extra mile to make sure you understand the content. You're doing okay. You're having a great day. They're just so sweet and they really care about your education. I love them. Cat break. Hi, this is Tori from the future. I wanted to add in a couple more questions that I feel like you guys are gonna ask me because surprisingly nobody asked me about dating, which I'm offended by. So my first question, did the students kind of date each other? Yeah, of course. There were just a ton of really cute couples in that school. And also, did the students date any Japanese students? Oh my God, yes. So next question, is dating in Japan different from dating, let's say in the US? Let me tell you, it is so different. Especially being a foreigner, there's like a lot of boundaries. There's a language boundary, cultural boundary. There's a lot of different things that you have to break through um, in order to feel like you're on the same page. It can be really difficult sometimes. I think that you're not supposed to like hang out at each other's like living spaces, like your apartment or your house. You're not supposed to hang out there. That's like a very like, we're committed um, or we're like, just down to have some fun, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm gonna keep the dating stuff pretty vague because I wanna make a whole video dedicated to like dating in Japan. But you know, if you're like, Tori, I need some, I need some dating tips right now. I need it right now. You can go to my TikTok right here. Okay, that's all future Tori wanted to say, bye. Arab YB asked, realistically, what is your budget for a semester, including housing, groceries, etc.? So with my program, it is free to stay with a host family. And if you stay with a host family, you don't have to pay for groceries. You only have to pay for your lunches. They take care of your breakfast and dinner. But you do have to pay if you stay in the dorms and then you'll have to buy your own groceries. And it's not as great of an experience. So I'm telling you guys, just do the host family. I'm serious. 
So EF tells you that you need a minimum of $100 for you to spend each week. Jogo5 asked, how does the process of getting there work? So if you are interested in doing the same program that I did, what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna go down in the description and you're gonna see a website that has information on the program, my TikToks on the program, another YouTube video, how I went to school in Japan. And on this website, you'll be able to scroll down and you'll see a little box that you can request more information. Grace Wilson194 said, I'm hoping to go to ICU. How easy slash hard is it to make friends with Japanese people. It's not too hard, just be really open-minded. Japanese people really do love to make foreign friends. Plutox JPG said, I'm 14 and I really wanna study the language, but I'm not sure what the age requirements are. So you're a bit young for the program that I did, but EF does have their separate program where they are taking students from ages 13 to 15 years old. They're going to be taking this group to Japan summer 2021. It'll be a bit more monitored and age appropriate for students of younger ages. Those are all my questions. Thank you guys so much for coming by and hanging out with me. So if you wanna see more Japan content, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on TikTok at Tori Peebs. I post a ton there because like I'm addicted. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. And would you like to know how I went to school in Japan? Check out this video for all the information.